Hello and welcome to this video. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about a new product from QuickBooks Online, but please heed my warning. This product is for accountants only. So if you've not got an accountant version of QuickBooks Online, then unfortunately, this video will not be for you. If you have though, then we're going to be talking yet again about the accounts production and pro tax solution, which I think is an absolute game changer to the world of accounts. And I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more as to what it can do. In this video, we're going to go through start to finish and see the whole end-to-end -end solution and what see what it looks like when you go to press that submit button. So, without further ado, let's roll that intro and let's go and submit some accounts via QuickBooks Online. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live at 8.30 a.m. for Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the one and only accounts production and pro tax, and we're going to see it from end to end to see exactly what we can do with it and show you exactly what it looks like when you press that magic file button. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and let's go and see exactly what it looks like to use accounts production and pro tax directly in QuickBooks Online. Let's have a look. Okay, first of all then, where is accounts production? Well, if you haven't seen one of my previous videos, well, accounts production is under the work papers section and under work papers, we now have two new tabs. We have the annual accounts tab just here and also the tax mapping tab just here. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that your accounts are all done and dusted within the work papers area. Make sure your review and adjust has been completed and you're happy that all the numbers make sense. And my recommendation is to use that documents area to put as many supporting documents as you can so that you have confidence that these figures are going to be correct. Once you've done that, then head back over to the section and it's where the fun begins. So from here, we have the opportunity to use this little pencil button to have a look at what accounts are being generated. So as soon as I press the pencil button, what I do like about this is it gives us a live view on the right hand side and every adjustment we make on the left hand side automatically gets shown on the right hand side. So for example, I've got two di directors here, Mr. Director and Mrs. Director. If I want to make an adjustment, click on the little pencil, notice how it takes me to the relevant area on the right hand side and it literally is, I just update and those areas are updated automatically as simple as quickly as that. We're using this side on the left hand side to make sure we're happy with our disclosures. Make sure that the, the words are correct within the accounts. We can go through and make sure that we can change things like maybe the principal activity. Well, we just click on the little pencil, takes me to the principal activity, and I can make my adjustments here as normal. So maybe I want a capital A instead of the, um, instead of the small a, press save, and just like that, it's automatically adopted and changed at the top. So this is where I think the first bit of real benefit comes from here. First of all, I'm using the review in just area to make sure the numbers are right. And I would have been doing that anyway, it doesn't matter what solution I'm doing it, because I like to make sure that whatever I send to my accounts production software, I want to be making sure that it's as correct as it possibly can be within QuickBooks Online. So for me, that bit was already done. Now, all I'm doing is basically taking it the next step, going through, putting in my little pencil button just here, and I'm making the adjustments as I need. I think that's so much more easier to create that workflow to be able to make sure that I'm getting information directly into QuickBooks Online and the pro tax accounts production. Now, let's see what next. Well, next is the tax mapping area. From the tax mapping area, I can go in here and I can just make sure that everything I want to go through to the pro tax solution has been mapped. And my whole job is to review anything that's in the top go through using the assign tax line just here. And if it's an item that should be appearing within my pro tax area, I, I assign it accordingly. And then it goes from the top area down to the bottom area and I have a load of my expenses and my turnover shown here. And if I need to make any adjustments, use the handy pencil button and I get that pencil sorted. So as quick as that. I've used review and adjust to make sure my numbers are correct. I've used the annual account section to make sure my actual accounts look correct and then I've used the tax mapping to make sure that I'm happy that what is going to be sent to ProTax is absolutely spot on. One last thing before I move over to ProTax, do make sure you use the send to ProTax button just here. What that's going to do is it's going to send a snapshot of what you've done directly to ProTax. 
You can always view what's actually been sent to ProTax by going to your documents area, annual accounts, and these four items here are the four items that have actually been sent over. Copy of full accounts, copy abbreviated, and an IXBRL equivalent as well. These are PDFs, but these are IXBRL. And then make sure the tax mapping reflects what I want it to go to ProTax. Speaking of ProTax, let's go and see how that works. Now, if this is my first time doing ProTax, I go up here and I say start returning ProTax, it's going to take me to the relevant area. Because I've already done ProTax once before with this client, then all I do is I go back to my QuickBooks Accountants area, jump into the ProTax area. So I find the return that I want to be creating or viewing in this case, press view return, I'm taken directly here. There's some key areas here. First of all, at the top, trading profits. Well, that's already been brought through from my accounts production area. That's giving me a live breakdown of the corporation tax due as well. At the top here, I have the option to import my CT600 if I wanted. Import in tax manual, overwrite the following forms. So if I want to re-import the information that's there, i would use that. Go to working papers if I need to go straight back. Print the return if I want to print the returns. And then I've got options of duplicating, save, and even sharing this return as well. Sharing the return for me is great if you're working in a team. I could grab that link, put it straight into, say, my Teams app when I'm typing and talking to other members of the team. I can send that over to them, so it makes it nice and easy. One of the things I do love about this is this live auditor option over here. I want to be making sure that's turned on because it's the auditor that's going to tell me if there's anything wrong within my corporation tax return. So I can look at my computation. Make sure I'm bringing in the right figures here. Add any depreciation back and add any other tax back if I need to. And then make any adjustments. Maybe I've got some cattle allowances I need to claim and maybe I need to put those in. Or I can just put them in the relevant boxes. And finally at the bottom here, there's a whole section for dealing with trade losses as well. On the left hand side, data input wise, CT computation is the first one that I would look at. But then I've got an opportunity to look at the actual CT600 itself. I can go through and make sure that I'm happy that everything's been ticked and clicked on here. And if I add some other forms in C600, I use this add new form option, CT600A, press the add button, and then I can deal with any director's loan disclosures or anything like that. Finally, before I press submit, there's two things. I can look at the PDF form to see if there's anything and have a look exactly what it is. It even includes the copy of my computation. So I'd actually take a nice copy of that and put on the client's file electronically. And then there's the auditor area just here. Now at the moment it's telling me there's no issues, which is great, it gives me confidence ready to submit. And imagine I forgot to put in the tax reference number, for example. Well, if I'd omitted that item from there, the auditor will come up with a one, telling me there's an empty tax reference. Now I can tick it to almost dismiss it, but in this case, it's right. I click on there, it's gonna take me to where it needs to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've now gone and put my tax reference in. And if by magic, my auditor's gone from one problem to zero row problems, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Now at this point then, my accounts have been done. I've sent them over for signature to my client. Client's happy with them. My CT600's done. I've got my figure. It's always given me a up-to-date figure of what that corporation tax figure is gonna be. Now I'm in the position when I'm ready to file. What's next? Well, if I use my e-file solution at the top, and I would do HMRC first, then first of all, it's gonna tell me what the computation's going to be, so it's my last chance to check in, which is great to see. Gives me confidence that the right thing's gonna be sent. I have a transmit button at the top. Press the transmit button, and I'll put the items in. Once I've done that, I'm gonna to get to this area here. From here, I can tick what wants to be sent over. So it's already got in there my end of year full report there, and it's got my CT computation, so I can press next and now it's going to get ready to transmit that figure for me. I can also e-file my company's house figure. And from here, I can select, again, what forms it wants me to send over, and add in or delete documents if I want to, and then press submit. Oh my days. And it tells me company's house received my return go back to my return. Then if I ever want to keep an eye on what's been submitted, I use the waiting options just here and the company's house and HMRC, and I can get up-to-date figures of what's going on. In this case, it's both been rejected, which I expect to see because these are both demo companies, but you can see then if I click on the rejected, it's going to tell me exactly what needs to be shown. Handily, I can go back to my pro tax area and see an update of what's going through. 
So if I want to, I'd go to statuses, see which ones have been rejected, and then I can make sure they get updated accordingly. Now, that just shows how quick, easy, and simple it is to get your account submitted using the accounts production and ProTax solution. I love it. I think it's really good to see that actual submission go through. And I was one of the first people to actually grab a set of accounts from QuickBooks and get them submitted to company sets and HMRC. And it worked an absolute dream. There's a few things in there where we can definitely see improvements for, but I'm really confident that's going to come soon. And for now, I'm just grateful that we have the opportunity to submit accounts directly through QuickBooks Online. I'm really excited for what this is going to do for me going forward. And I can't wait for the next stage of this process. What do you think? Do you think that was simple enough? Do you think that was harder or more complicated than what you would normally do with it? If so, let me know in the comments below. And any feedback we get, we'll make sure it gets straight over to QuickBooks Online. My name has been Alan Patrick. This video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. I'm glad we can finally get our corporation tax returns and limited company accounts filed in QuickBooks Online. My name has been Alan Patrick. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.